you left us last time, we had just left the beautiful shell beach near Bahia Asuncion. Our travels would take us back to the Gulf, to some of the most popular tourist destinations in Baja. As Highway 1 reaches the coast, it turns south again at Santa Rosalia, the historic copper mining town established by French mineral investors in the late 1800s. Santa Rosalia is the site of the famous Iglesia de Santa Barbara, the prefabricated steel church said to have been designed by Gustav Eiffel. From Santa Rosalia, we made our way to the charming town of Mulahe. The area is known for the abundance of water here and the palms that line the river that divides it. We headed out of town toward the coast via the road along the river, trying to locate the track out to Punta Prieta. It took some trial and error, but we would enjoy this perfect seaside bluff with this vista of the lighthouse below. The next day, we decided to check out the mission in Mulahe, founded in 1705 to convert the native Cochimi people to Catholicism. This mission fell into disrepair in the 1800s and since has undergone extensive renovation. South along the one near Playa Santos back, we stopped in on a recommended beach camp that although beautiful, didn't really fit our camping style. Our sights were set on a more remote location further down the road. Ah. 
are fiddler crabs, right? I don't know. It's like one big. They're all over. We followed a rough 4x4 track around the southern end of Bahia Concepcion and continued back north to a lonely beach camp on the opposite side of the bay. Where are we right now? Conception Bay. And we're on the, what would be the east side? And picked our way here. We actually uh, made a wrong choice and went down a wrong road and wound up at a fish camp. And uh, one of the municipal cops decided to follow us in and ask us what we're doing. <laughs> and um, luckily I was just able to just say, you know, hey, we're looking for this road right here. On your phone? On the phone. Yep. He was happy to help out, and we actually wound up talking to a bunch of fishermen in the process of cleaning a bunch of fish, which was kind of enlightening and mm, gross at the disgusting. same time. But, uh, yeah, they, they kind of pointed us in the right direction, and we got back on the right track and have gone all the way around the bay, and now we have perfect solitude. A couple yeah. sections of four low, but... Um, yeah, well, worth it. And, uh, we decided to call this camp Puffer Fish Camp because there's a giant puffer fish right here. I mean, I knew they were dangerous and spiky and crazy, but this guy is, that's, he's ridiculous. Look at his teeth. He's crazy looking. I really like him though. So yeah, pretty stinking hot. We left our spot on the bay and continued south towards Laredo. Apart from its obvious tourist appeal, Laredo seemed to be a regional hub for all kinds of commerce, so we knew we would have a chance to enjoy the town a little, as well as grab some pesos and some other supplies. The mission in Laredo is one of the oldest in Baja, founded in 1697. The stone church here was completed in 1744 and was an important hub for missionaries working throughout the peninsula. After a leisurely day exploring Laredo, it was time to locate a camp for the evening. Once on the road, however, we realized we had forgotten to fuel up in town. The nearest gas would be found at the Puerto Escondido Marina.
and it would be had for quite a premium. Whew, it's a little windy. Uh, can't say enough about Laredo. What a great little town. Yeah, really had fun there. Yeah. Super nice. Walked around, ate some food, met some people, and yeah, now sure. we uh, rolled up on a spot we found on iOverlander, which is good. And we're just going to, what, drink a beer and chill? Chill. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we have a fantastic view. Yeah, it's super good. And um, who knows? We might stay here a couple days or not. Maybe not. I don't know. So who knows? We are on our way back across the peninsula after this. So definitely need to get ready. Yeah. But um, we'll be on the West Coast here pretty soon. The, the west side of Baja in this area is just so open and what would you describe it as? It feels like, I don't know, images I've seen of like the Australian outback. Yeah, I feel like we're it's in the outback like, right now. Don't get me wrong, it's super fun. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're cruising along. This is yeah. what our truck was built for. Yeah. Yeah, we're out we're here. Out here so far. Yeah, we're headed, uh, woo! <laughs> towards the uh, Pacific and I'm hoping that we can find a decent beach and actually spend a couple days. We've been on the move. It's one of those things where the grass is always greener and uh, we just can't move it. Yep. Um, so we're really hoping to find a Something super good. remote Pacific camp that will you know, let us stop for a little while. Yeah, have a few beers, eat some food because we haven't really eaten today. <laughs> Yeah. Too busy driving. Too busy driving. All right. Well, wish us luck. ourselves into but uh where are we what what the, what the hell is this i don't even know where i don't we know are where we are now, but um yeah but there's a lot of spiders and spider webs all over yeah the front i'm of not truck. freaked out by spiders but these are some of the most I'm some clean. Disgu ah! Ah! There's like a spider web. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> so the most disgusting spiders i've ever seen This is nasty. Nasty. I don't know. All right, this is where we're deciding to camp because there's really nothing else and we're tired and we haven't eaten all day. And Zach is cleaning off the truck, trying to get rid of these, I don't know what they are. We're calling them crab spiders, but they're disgusting. Take another full day of route finding to reach a camp at Rancho El Canejo. The 
Exhausted from the drive and ready for some semblance of civilization, we relaxed knowing we were within one day's drive of Todos Santos. Todos greeted us with its vibrant colors, bustling streets, and the smell of restaurants gearing up for the lunch crowd, which I was more than happy to be a part of. Yeah. You love it? Super good and crazy hot. Finally camping. We're finally camping. We drove out of Mulahe. Oh, not Mulahe. Sorry, Todos Santos. And uh, yeah, we drove for what? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, probably. Yeah. And uh, got ourselves a nice beach camp. Yeah. So. Should be good. It is blazing it is saddles, though. Super duper hot. Oh! And we are gonna try to seek some shade yeah. until there is shade to be had. Yeah. Yeah. Truck is the only shade. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Pretty, pretty maybe, stoked on this beach. Yeah. Maybe a cerveza. Absolutely. All right. Let's do that. Oh, that was a flying fish. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go cl closer to the coast. Okay. So right now we're seeing flying fish, leaping, and whales. What? What? What is that? They're rays. Sorry, this is gonna be super shaky because what? I don't have my normal rig going. Why aren't the wheels jumping? Let's go down. Ah! Oh, there he did, he jumped again. jumping why are the rays jumping oh, look at that. the day <laughs> pretty amazing we didn't do anything for the most part I mean I did some stuff yeah you fixed some stuff on the truck and we made some phone calls and uh... yeah great day just chilling yeah much needed day of rest yeah it's a beautiful night actually gonna 
head into Todos Santos to do some shopping and some other things. We've been here for what, three days? Been here for three days, relaxing? Yeah, three days, two nights. Yeah, so uh, it's been wonderful. It's been quiet and uh, been able to rest and hang out and eat and see some whales and stuff. But now it's time to move on and uh, yeah, pick up some supplies. Yeah, the truck's all packed. We're gonna slip slide our way out of here. What happened? Um, one of the strut mounts broke, and so this was just an effort to pull the strut into the to the front of the camper to keep it open on one side. Mm. Um, it's been a real serious hassle, honestly. Yeah, well, um, but, but it's Gopas worked. owned up to it. We yeah. called them, and they knew about the problem, and uh, were willing to send us a new strut and mount for the one side plus the other side since we think that the other side is now compromised since it was holding 100% of the load. Yeah, I think we're a little worried though about it getting down here in time. We're actually relying on uh, an Airbnb host <clears throat> in California. So we're having GoFast ship it to their house and then have one of their children bring it down. So yeah, lots of moving parts and moving those parts. kinds of situations make me really nervous because you never know what link in the chain is going to break, you know? Yeah, so we're, ha we're having positive vibes, though. Positive vibes. <laughs> Roots is having positive vibes. I'm ha I always have positive vibes. I am, I am holding my breath anxiously. Mm, yeah, well, we'll see. Hopefully we don't have to do that for very much longer, eh? No, uh, a couple days and we'll know one way or the other, so. All right. But, yeah, our trip is going to be cut short if we don't get this figured out for sure. <laughs> Having left no stone unturned in town, it was time to relax with the drink at one of Toto Santos' new rooftop bars, Santoro. It's not bad. The view of the sunset from here did not disappoint. Found a another little beach camp a little closer to town and we're just going to chill here for today and tonight and then we're going to be in El Pescadero tomorrow so yeah and we're able to get into town and you know more easily and walk around and do things and restaurants and bars and that sort of stuff so yeah um yeah out here on the beach again Woohoo! We couldn't leave town without witnessing a sea turtle hatchling release.
seeing these little guys struggle to make it to the ocean to start their lives was a truly moving experience and a reminder of just how fragile this planet is that we call home. Jazz. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> 